What's going on guys? I just stepped on a snail. I just took a picture of that snail with my car. He had big dreams. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. Rip. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So today I bought a compressor. Some of you guys that have been, you know, following my videos uh, have heard me say that I've been wanting to buy another one. Right now I have a 21 gallon uh, Central Pneumatic from, from uh, Harbor Freight. It's a direct drive and I've had it for so many years. I just wanted a new one. So considering that I do a lot of paint videos and stuff like that, I wanted something at least belt driven with a slightly bigger tank, uh, but at the same time also uh, 110 or 120 volts, you know, so I can just plug into any plug and uh, it was gonna be like a portable one. So check it out, this is what I got. This is the McGraw. I found this at Harbor Freight. It's a 29 gallon, 165 max PSI, uh, 1.8 motor. And this one has a V-twin piston or whatever on the compressor side. So just for better cooling, uh, they still had the Centro Pneumatic 29 gallon already on clearance. Um, that one, it has twin pistons side by side and I think it creates a lot of friction, a lot of heat right there. So this right here, this style is just way better on that end. And I have a quick clip right here so you guys can see it. They were selling me the display model on the Century Pneumatic and it was quite beat. So check this out. All right, so if this is the Century Pneumatic, this is the one that's in clearance. You can tell it's been here a while. Manhandled and stuff. It's a twin piston side by side, so it creates more friction right here, a lot more heat. Uh, compared to the V-twin, the V-twin are separate uh, pistons and keeps a lot cooler. Uh, running decibels on this one is about 85, uh, compared to the Fortress at 79, I believe, or 75. Two horsepower, 29 gallons, 150 PSI max, compared to the uh, the McGraw um, 1.8 165 same 29 gallon Twenty gallon direct drive oil lubed Sorry, and another thing on that century pneumatic uh, that I didn't really show was the whole assembly right here for the power the gauges and all that was just all wobbly you know just like so so much like uh manhandling just being th there in a display for so many years but uh luckily there was this one the guy there was a worker there that was barely putting up these uh right there on display already in boxes uh they had the smaller ones the direct drives uh i asked about this one he said i only have one in box it's in the back I told him, hey, I want that one. I came, I came here for that one. Uh, my other option was going to be a DeWalt. Um, I have the 60 gallon stationary compressor at the other garage um, and it's done me well, but you know, I had seen the 30 gallon when I bought that one, the 60 at that time. And you know, it was also a V-twin. But looking at the other features, it was a 155 max PSI, a 1.6 motor, and uh, I can't remember the CFM. It was also a V-twin, like I said. But um, So yeah, made up my, my mind on this one. This is the McGraw from Harbor Freight, 29 gallons. Uh, let's go ahead and just open it up. Open it up and look at it.
filter. It's a filter for the pumps. Oh, uh, there's all the tires in here. It comes in a plywood, little plywood frame, screwed on there. So I have the rubber mount for the compressor, but this isn't going to be stationary. Uh, this one has wheels. Uh, but the the rubber's for legs or something. So here it is. Uh, the pulley on the motor. All right, let's look at it. There it is. So it's a 29 gallons. Here's some of the specs. 5.3, uh, what is that? Squared cubic feet. I'm not sure how to read that. Uh, 90 at 90 psi and I think it was like a 6.3 or 6.2 at 40 psi something like that 1.8 running horsepower uh, Oil lube longer life. I wonder if it already well actually it already has oil I think I brought it tilted I don't think that matters. I don't know um, Here's the gauges So right here, these are in pounds per square inch and in PSI, so it reads all the way up to 300. Um, I think, uh, and this is the outgoing after the regulator. Uh, the power supply, it already has a plug. I'm not sure if this is the style of motor, the, you know, two stage where you can switch from 110 to a 220. Interesting, but um, quick. Uh, quick connect coupler right here it does come with oil and uh, yeah so this is the compressor on the McGraw we have the filters that go right there that's what flow right now little blow off valve right here a little bit of pressure and yep from one compressor to the other keeps going down into the tank and it also has a little ball valve right here to drain point pointed uh, slightly forward for easier access so yeah so the tires go on this side and then the rubber stops on this side so this is it. I went into town or into the valley actually uh, in the Tahoe. I just put it in there. It fits in there. I brought it laying down. That's what I said about the oil. But um, I'm pretty sure there is a break in, you know, run it on, you know, no pressure maybe uh, for 10 minutes. I haven't even read the manual, but I know there's a break in for stuff like this. But I'll read into that. Um, over here, well, we have one of the filters. It goes right here. I right, just, just give me a second. <laughs> there we go. So there's one of the filters, and the other one should be over here. Other than that, let me get a knife. Here are the tires. These aren't um, like air inflated, these are just like solid 10 inch tires with the uh, bearings. And then these are the stops, the legs for the front. Some hardware for the tires, the rear ones, and the front stops. And that's pretty much it. Over here, this is the good stuff, just the 1.8 motor and the twin uh, piston compressor. Um, we'll keep an eye on the oil level, just make sure it has enough. And, you know, I think uh, after the break-in, it's recommended, I think, to 
just drain it and put some new oil. Uh, but I'll do that. I'll do that before I start painting anything. Um, but yeah, oh, one more feature. Check that out. It also has a timer. Like how many hours you put into the compressor. So that's pretty neat. Look at that thing. Some type of adapter. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, plug this in. Here's a little label. Warranty void if following maintenance is not performed. So every 20 hours of use, it says drain air tank and check engine oil. Change engine oil. Every 50 hours of use, clean air filter and check belt. And for every 100 hours of use, replace a spark plug, change compressor oil. Okay. We'll take that into consideration. All right, never mind. I found the spark plug over here on this side. It's just covered by this boot. So before powering it up, there's this sticker that says stop. Oil required. Compressor will use up oil during operation. Check compressor oil before every use. For best performance, use 30 weight non-detergent compressor oil. So with this box, they also sent in right here, the 30 weight non-detergent compressor oil. And it does need just a little bit. It needs to be in the middle of the red dot for it to be full. If it's above, it's overfilled. Uh, so right now it's at the low. So we're just going to top it off with some oil on the break-in, turn the power switch off and unplug the power cord. Fully open drain valve, which is this one on the bottom. So, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's opened, free flowing. Plug in the power cord, turn the power switch on, let the unit run 30 minutes. Air will expel freely through the drain valve. Uh, so, after the 30 minutes, turn the power switch off, unplug, unplug the power cord, and close the drain valve. So, that's the break in. For this one, the drain uh, valve is already opened. I'm just going to top this with oil. All right, well, I topped it off with oil and I removed the sticker from here. It's ready. Uh, I already plugged it in. So I'm gonna set you guys in a, in a tripod right here so you guys can hear the first startup. And I have it next up to the Harbor Freight Century Pneumatic. It's a 21 gallon. It says two and a half horsepower, 125 psi max. Uh, but it's a direct drive and it's pretty old. You notice that right here, it's missing the filter. Uh, so I had a little corrugated pipe. It acts as a silencer. But here we go. Click the timer. 0, 0.0. Drain valves open. Something. Come on. Compressor, motor, that noise. Here's the pulley. It has no uh, no key, no woodruff key. If I turn it on, coincidence that it landed back in the same spot. So the pulleys are not rotating. It's perfect. So I checked the whole garage floor here, at least where I had it. Even this little floor pan where it came in. This styrofoam box, you know, any packaging, which I doubt it is supposed to be installed when it comes. Uh, so I couldn't find it so at the at this moment it doesn't work but uh, nonetheless it's a very good looking compressor 
standing next to this other one that does work. So here's the assembly diagram, the exploded version. There's the motor and you can see the pulley and the number 52 are bolts on the pulley. Um, so it does have these. There's that Allen head bolt and then this one on the side. I could just tighten those up and you know it, it'll just tighten onto the shaft the motor shaft or I could rotate it to where the threads uh, you know like get some of the part where that chuck key would go at wood roof key or whatever you call it uh, but I think I'm just gonna go over into town at you know our boat repair shop we have some of these uh, wood roof keys I'll just bring one you know install it I end up tightening up tightening up those bolts as well but I just want to have that uh, extra you know wood rough key in there that way it locks it into place it spins so if I just tighten up the those allen bolts um, there's a possibility that you know it was, it's just gonna spin score the whole shaft the, the motor shaft or whatever so eh, I don't want that it's just real easy to disassemble also these are just like little rubber um, mounts like uh it's it's to hold both grills into place without vibration uh there's this one i tried taking it off so you just spin it and it just looks like that so it holds both grills at the same spot and then you know also helps with the vibration since they're rubber uh take all those off so it's like three on top and then i think under the two or three on the bottom and the whole grill comes out and i'll install a new wood rope key in there and we'll go ahead and start it up all right, so I removed uh, these rubber things for the grill. I also noticed that right here, this one was a bit dented, and you know there's some scratch marks right there on that pulley. Uh, this one over here, you know, looks more straighter. Um, so it looks like it fell. And upon further inspection, I found this. That's a crack on one of the fins, and then this one is also a crack, and it's cracked right here. So it's cracked, oh, this one as well. That's just cracked. So it's broken completely, like, it might have fell or something and caused this to dent, and that it's cast uh, it's cast uh, iron or steel or whatever so definitely so obviously I can't use this unless I get a new you know pulley over there on the compressor side a new wheel and that wood roof key you know guys I um I had thought about it, you know, so much about buying this compressor. Not this one, but buying a compressor, a 110, because I really need it. I've been talking about it so much. Uh, I didn't want to buy the DeWalt compressor, the 30 gallon. Uh, not because of its features, uh, but because I've wanted it so long. I've wanted it so long, the DeWalt, that, you know, now that I have a chance or, you know, to buy it, I've been going up there and it's just not there you know check you know like next Tuesdays which is in tra tractor supply that's when they get their new inventory check next Tuesday no n nothing uh, okay we can order it for you you know come back next Tuesday nothing hey you know what like I really need it they can't actually ship from store to store uh, the nearest one is like too far for me uh, and you know they weren't gonna be getting any of those anytime soon according to you know that employee um, there was also that central pneumatic but just upon looking at it it was just to beat that one was just like I you know I also considered it but that one was just to beat when I saw this one uh, this one was just like it had to be this one you know it's it it wasn't overpriced 
and it wasn't too like beat up or anything like that it was just right in the middle it's just decent price like it looks great and everything and i'm pretty sure it works awesome i'm like as soon as if if one that works i'm pretty sure it works flawless you know i'm pretty sure i'll be happy with it i'm a little bit disappointed not gonna lie but you know just because i don't really go out of town that much you know i don't drive like a whole hour and a half or I, I it took me four hours for this trip just to go get that compressor that's it i didn't get anything else it's this compressor and some stuff like for it but uh it took me four hours to go and come back and just to find out that it doesn't work so i'm mean, gonna have to take it back you know i have three month warranty you know to replace it so obviously i want to do this within this week because i really need it so unfortunately um, guys i can't turn it on for you i'm just gonna put it all back together and maybe in the box it already has the wheels on but um uh, just call them up, taking it, uh, take it back, and see what they tell me. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Well, guys, I'm gonna take it back. Uh, um, possibly today we'll see they close till eight. Uh, so I already put some oil. I didn't even get a chance to turn it on, see what it sounds like. I installed the tires and little mounts, but I'm not gonna take it off anymore because I mean it's already an open box anyways I'll take the box and all the plastics or whatever it came with with me um, that was just I mean it didn't work <laughs> it didn't work has three months warranty so let's go see if we can find another one I just look like a floating head <laughs> okay okay dude chill but um eventually what i what ended up happening guys was i took the compressor back i went back to the store and i just got my money uh but funny thing about that right there at the harbor freight store you know there was somebody in line and called me out he said uh hey aren't you the, that guy that paints cars on youtube so i smiled you know it caught me off guard because you know, it's the first time someone, you know, like recognizes me other than family or, you know, like some friends that obviously know that I YouTube, but uh, just something unexpected. So his name was Joel. So shout out, bro. You know, thank you for, you know, just just reaching out. I, I thought it was pretty cool. I'm popular now. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Peace out.